If there was something you guys loved, it was my how to crochet leg warmers video. And guess what? I share this love with you. I love leg warmers too. That's why one pair wasn't enough for me. So I also sewed two pairs actually. And I'm gonna show you how to sew one pair today. This is the easiest thing you could ever sew. Like this is so easy. You will literally just make one seam and yeah i should i just bleached my eyebrows it's if you want to see the footage because i tried out the camera maybe you want to see the footage tell me and i did my makeup how do you like my makeup do you like some crystals anyways let's start with the leg warmers so this is the fabric i bought important here is that it's a knit so it's a rough knit and you can see it's very stretchy especially to the side but also in the length it just has to be stretchy and should be kind of thick in my case the back and the front look the same because it's a rib knit but that doesn't have to be the case for you it could just be one side the right side and one side the left side so now we want to figure out how much fabric you want to buy and for that we're going to measure our leg. Depending on how long you want your leg warmers to be, it's either your calf or your knee or over your knee. I had 32 centimeters and we don't even have to bother us about seam allowance because we're going to cut something away anyways. So the fabric is going to be a certain amount long anyways. And now you're going to decide how much width you're going to buy, how much length. And that's depending on how long you want your leg warmers to be. In my case, my leg warmers were 43 centimeters long. So that's how much length I bought. You could, those are like like normal leg warmers or kind of short leg warmers you can make leg warmers that go over your knee too though and those will be 78 centimeters long like i did some and those went over my knee and they were still scrunched up and those were 78 centimeters long for cutting out the fabric pieces you either have your fabric laid all double and then you do one stripe 32 centimeters broad or however broad you are or you have a fabric laid out all the way and you just have one layer and then you cut out two stripes 32 centimeters broad or whatever. So here's me just cutting out my double layers like one stripe of 32 centimeters. Make sure your sewing machine is threaded in the white color or at least the most similar color you have. So you should have two squares now and now you're just going to fold them over and sew along one seam with a zigzag stitch. If your fabric has a right side and a left side, make sure you put together the right side so you put together the nice sides. So as I said, make sure your sewing machine is on a zigzag stitch and now I'm going to explain to you why. If you sew a stretchy fabric with a normal stitch, it can rip. If you sew it with a zigzag stitch or an overlock machine, then the stitch can stretch and stretch with the fabric and therefore not rip. Then you try on the leg warmer, it's going to be way too big but that was expected and then you're going to just look how much you have to keep sewing away, like how much you, more you need. And you're just going to remember that or measure that and then you're going to sew again exactly there. Before you cut anything off, try the leg warmer on again and if it's too tight you have to seam rip but it's probably not going to be too tight. If it's too loose, still sew again, look how much more you need. For me it was just perfect. So this is what both of them look like now. Next step is just to cut off the excess seam allowance. So cut off one centimeter next to the seam or a quarter of an inch next to the seam. Ta-da! And we're almost done, just one more step. What you will need now is a twin needle. So it's a needle with two needles for the sewing machine. And that way you can, you, you can sew a straight stitch with two threads on the top. So three threads in total. And it turns out to be a stretchy stitch. It looks nice. If you don't have this, you can also sew a zigzag, but I wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't look as nice. Or you can just leave the raw edges. But if you want to have a nice, use a twin needle and I'm going to show you how you do it. So you just put it in normally like where you put the needle and then you're going to take a second thread that fits the color and you're just going to thread it through the same than the first thread and you're going to put each thread in one needle and then you can just normally sew. To sew, you're going to take your leg warmer, you're going to turn inside out so the nice side is outside. You're going to fold over the edge like this and then you're going to sew on top but on the right side. So make sure you fold enough over so you really catch it and then you just sew along. Make sure you don't stretch the fabric while doing so otherwise it will look a little silly. So this is what it should look like. It's like two stitches and then a zigzag in the back. 
and you do this stitch on the top and the bottom so four times in total because you have two leg warmers.